Hello guys, here's Roman from Tentech. Today I'm gonna take you through the process of creating this low poly flower in Blender. At first select everything with A and delete it. Add a new circle with Shift A circle. Open the little menu on the bottom left and reduce the vertices to 8. Go into edit mode with tab and fill it with F. Scale it up a little bit by pressing S and extrude it by pressing E. Do it once again and scale it down by pressing S. Like this. Select the face loop by pressing Alt and right click on the face. Press I and Enter to insert them. Open the little menu on the bottom left. Check the individual checkbox and extrude them by pressing Alt and E, faces along normals, but just a little bit. Now scale them up by pressing S, Shift, Z. This ensures that it's only scaled on the X and the Y axis, but not on the Z axis. Do it like this. Now repeat the step by pressing Alt and E, faces along normals little bit less and scale it down by pressing S. And we have the basis of our flower. Go out of edit mode by pressing tab, press H to hide it, and add a new circle by pressing shift A, circle. Go into edit mode once again by pressing tab, switch into side view by pressing 1 or 3 on the numpad. Fill it with F and extrude it by pressing E, like this. We need more faces to work with, so press Ctrl R to add a loop cut and increase the count of the loop cuts with the mouse wheel, like this. Select the spot where I want the leaf to be and press Ctrl R again to add another loop cut and select the face and extrude it. Press S Shift Z to scale it on the X and Y axis. Like this. And extrude it once more. Press S to scale down. Like this. It's a little bit straight, so I'm gonna move that face up by pressing G Z. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna select that face, add another loop cut with Ctrl R and move it down by pressing G and Z, like this. Add some more leaves wherever you want. Two leaves is enough for me, so I can move on to mess with the shape. Select the face in the middle and press O to move into proportional editing and press G to move the face around. You can increase the area of influence by using the mouse wheel and move things around. Play around with it until you're happy. I'm gonna play around with my leaves a little bit too, so I'm gonna select the face and press R while still being in proportional editing and rotate it a little bit like this. Same for this one. Like this. Now that I'm happy with it, I can move out of edit mode by pressing tab and press Alt and H to bring back the flower and move it up by pressing G and Z. And I'm gonna scale it by pressing S, like this. Now rotate it to position it right. You can rotate things by pressing R And I'm gonna move it down 
like this. Play around with it until you're happy. If it doesn't look connected, select the stem again and go back into edit mode. Select the top face and rotate it to like this. Now the head of the flower looks a little bit too perfect, so I'm gonna select it again and go back into edit mode. Ensure that I'm in the proportional editing mode and select the face and press G move it and play around with the area of influence and just deform it a little bit. Like this. At last we need a proper flower pot. I'm gonna add a new circle by pressing shift A circle. Scale it up. Like this. Go into edit mode and fill it with a F, extrude it down, extrude it once again and scale it. Gonna scale up the top a little bit more, so select the face, scale it, this, extrude it once more, inset it by pressing I and extrude it downwards. Like this. Select the face loop at the outer side and extrude it along the normals by pressing Alt and E. Like this. I want my dirt in the flower pot to be a little bit uneven, so I'm gonna select the face, delete it by pressing delete and face. Select the edge loop by pressing right click on it while holding all. And press Ctrl F to grid fill it, to grid fill. And subdivide it by pressing W. Do that once again. Like this. Select the vertex, go into proportional editing by pressing O and select random and press G to move things around. Like this. Now it's time to add the materials. This is gonna be easy on that one. Let's stay on the flower pot switch into the material view on the top right go to the materials tab add a new material and make it brownish like this add a new material go into edit mode and select the faces that you want to be a different color new material, make it more brown, and hit the sign, like this, select the stem, pick new material, make it green, and select the head of the flower, go into edit mode, create a new material, select the color that you want your flower to have, Gonna make mine red. Hit the sign, add a new material. Select the faces that need to be a different color. Make it the color you like. Gonna make mine black and hit the sign. 
like this. Now it's time to fiddle around with some details. The head of my flower is a little bit too symmetric, so I'm gonna go back into edit mode and select the face and, and move it around a little bit more by pressing G while I'm in the proportional editing mode. Like this. And now I'm happy with it. If you want, you can check out the video on my channel on how to set up a simple render scene to make a beautiful low poly render. I'm gonna link it in the description. And I'm gonna thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And we're gonna see us next time. Goodbye!